Today I want to show you how I've done a second skull um, and this time using my new Iwata HP C Plus airbrush. Um, it's the first time I've um, actually used it to spray and um, I have to say I like it a lot. I like it very 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 much and also in combination with um, the Trident paint which um, I have diluted um, actually nine nine drops of reducer to five drops of paint um, and uh, and this is the spray I get. I still find it a little bit dark but still um, for this exercise absolutely fine and um, I only got a dry tip a couple of times in well I don't know um, about an hour's worth of airbrushing. Um, you have to remember I am a beginner so it takes me a lot longer than it probably would <laughs> somebody who's far more experienced than I to do as much as this. So uh, anyway I will put that down for now but uh, that's uh, with my new airbrush I have for the first time produced a skull. Now I used um, in a way a different technique if you saw my previous um, video on I did this skull I did this skull using my um, um, my old airbrush which was the uh, Harder and Steinbeck Ultra and um, this one has no lower jaw and um, I watched a video on YouTube before I did this I then cut out the stencil put the stencil on here and brushed outside the skull and uh, the, um, the inside part so as you can see I've got an outline of the out outside of the skull and then uh, the detail, a few details on the inside. So that was um, the um, original skull that I did. Now the difference I've done in this one, uh, um, if I can zoom in a little bit here, this one you can see has a lower jaw. And this is the original which I'm using as a reference. And um, this one I've cut out, cut out a stencil but to start off with instead of the outside of the skull, I have take, used this part of the stencil, which is what uh, I cut out, so this is the outside outside part. I placed this stencil inside and I sprayed the other parts that I'd cut out. With this one I have a few little cuts here to show where this part of the indentation of the skull is. I've cut out here and here, this part here which are the black areas, the darkest areas on the original. You can see hopefully there, there. And a few little cuts where the teeth are to indicate them, the nose, but this time completely differently I haven't completely cut out where the eye sockets are. And the reason for this is the eye sockets are not as dark here. You can't see the outline on the edges in the same way as you could in this one. This one is very very clear outline of the dark edges and here not. So what I've done is actually to only half cut in my stencil and this part here you can see the two little darker parts at the back of the socket I have cut out there, you see, but I've half cut out these and so when I did my, uh, when I actually started to spray this I pulled this back sprayed this part here the inside, a light dusting on the inside as such and then I put this back over and sprayed a darker part that so so that you could see that indicated here and at the same time on the other eye I pull this one back and dusted with the airbrush just on the inside here so as you can see the approach that I took and this time I hadn't watched a uh, just just from making up my own mind and looking at the original picture I decided where I needed to cut for this stencil. So for this one I actually cut my own stencil. And then I proceeded to, to freehand 
other parts of the skull. Now this one here, this part here is actually too dark, but I used the size, side of this as a straight edge to get the line similar to the original. Um, and that one's lighter, I've done that actually too dark, I'm going to see if I can try and lighten that up later. But in general, the other difference that I have made is um, that for the first time I've actually used a pencil. This time it's, it's a, a sky blue pencil and I've used that to draw in the teeth because I didn't want to have the same um, problems that I had when I did this one and trying to do it freehand. Um, these, these teeth are more complicated, they've got uh, more roots involved in them. I have just lightly drawn with the sky blue pencil where the teeth are. Just looking again at the reference picture, the original picture, and uh, I've drawn those in so that when I come to put my airbrush here I've got a much better guide. And that's also different to my approach in the previous one. I, ha I haven't obviously even started to airbrush these. You can see where the little marks are that I put in from the stencil. Very tiny little marks here, where you can see it's slightly darker. Here, just also to show this point here, on the original of the stencil, I had this, I had here a section, this part and this part, and there's actually nothing in between. So to get this darkened section there, I used, I used this shield. So a freehand shield, I just put it over, over there to give that edge here, to join these two bits and give the edge of where the cheek, cheekbone is on the skull. So, as you can see, with this skull I've used many different techniques than I did on the previous one. Um, I've cut the eye sockets differently, not completely out, and I've used a, like a double stencil with this one because I've cut inside and left this half. Um, I've used uh, the shield to help me with uh, certain parts that I wanted to create different shapes. So uh, in the freehand area, uh, and I've used uh, um, the pencil, the light blue pencil, to draw in the teeth to help guide me when I come to do those details. So uh, generally, all in all, and if I just remove these here, this is not finished by the way, I will show you the finished one when I've got it done. So you can see now here underneath what I have already achieved. So this is there just to protect the background but you can see here how the skull is coming together. But of course the teeth are not, are not filled in but apart from that then I've only got a few more details to, to do and um, I'm almost done. Excellent. So there you go. I had a, a wonderful time using my new airbrush, my, um, my uh, HP C Plus um, airbrush. Um, I find the atomization, the, the actual spray pattern is, is, is absolutely wonderful. When I've done this, uh, when I've finished this, I will, um, I will just add it on to the end of this video so you can see what it looks like. Okay, bye. So, here we are. This is the final result, and um, I have to say, I um, was surprised at the results, and pleased.